Uh, welcome once again, my students, to my session uh, about uh, basic pharmacology and level 4. Tuangalia kidogo mwanzo uh, tulipotoka. Tuka tunangalia macro rights. Tuka angalia what is the macro rights, uh, what are uh, uh, drugs belong to macro rights, and also what is the communication of macro rights. Nikatoa assignment, kabi submitted katika email ya what we find here. Yes, we shall know. Now, we shall know what we find here. Find any here, number and the result. Come on, see him on the receiver. The company have a high power. So, even all our guys, some one you want to be able to be a school of one of my two. In number and the sour. Last night, we talk to people talk to an incompetent to an incompetent idea. It was a figure. I request a poor sour to my wife. Uh, today is about macro uh, amino glycoside by the way drugs. Sorry. Uh, today uh, uh to Navalia amino glycoside drugs. Students. No mamma ludi kidogo new ma to report over Panzia penicillin is cephalospolin and uh, also macro right. All those to casino combasis as also uh uh um antibacteria drugs which are used to inhibit bacteria as um eyes as a oh or protein is in CC wale kwa nafanya kazi ya kunihibiti kuzuia let's say yu zanishwa jwa protini kwa 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 batilia eiza kunihibiti so yu osi si 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 especially ndu kuzi tu si kwa spole ni na penisa ni yuso lakini haba tunakuja tunamangalia ndu kuya ndu moja na ito amino amino glycoside drugs this is a group of drugs by the way this all group of drugs are uh, belong on just groups kuna kuwa na dawa mingi za kutosha tu. The same to macro rights. Kwa mba hilo ni group ni kwa macro rights, but ndani yake, kuna kuwa pia na namba mingi za, kuna kuwa na, na branches za drugs. Kwa hindi na kubambia, ah, ah, hii ni macro ID, au hii ni cephalosporin. Just, uh, just step by step, unajua kwa mba, ah, hii hapa ni penicillin, hii hapa ni cephalosporin, hii hapa ni macro ID. And also today, to not get a ma a minor glycoside. Kweza ku 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 master his dawa, ni kupata kiposhi ni kido kido. Una some ama a minor glycoside na dawa zake basi mambo na yenda mizuri. Yes, back in the class, yo. Ah, uh, leo tunangalia a minor glycoside. Minor glycoside hiyo ni group of drugs ambao nafanya kazi yake kubwa ni kuwa directly ha bacteria lina uwa bacteria wale wengine walikuwa nasema wanazuia utengenezwaji wa seli wo mfano penicillin na cephalosporin and also tukasema kwamba ah huyu ndugu yangu macrolide yeye anazuia utengenezaji wa protini katika 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 bacteria kadri nilivyozidi kwenda sikiliwaambia tajua tu kwa ipi nazuia ipi naua Amino glycoside to Nasema this are bactericidal. Cephalosporin and nepenicillin and they also macrolide. Uh, macrolide. This is also um, uh, to Nasema ni bacterial static. Bacterial static. Lakin ili na uwa kabisa to Nasema bactericidal. So amino glycoside is this a bacteriocidal remind you amino glycoside ni bacteriocidal ana uwa ana kill the electric ha bacteria as a gram negative or positive na kutusha sema uh, dawa ya uh, dawa yote ile lazima iwe sensitive kwa mdudu ili iweze kumdudu dawa yoyote ile ambayo haitakuwa sensitive kwa mdudu yoyote yule haiwezi kumuua. Kwa hiyo kinaweza kusema ha mbona inachagua kuua ha baki wengine hawa wengine kwa sababu haipo sensitive na huyo na huyo mdudu. Ya yeah, utoka bote ama na glucoside zisi a bacterocidal a uh, bacterocidal drugs which are to kill a uh, even gram negative or gram positive ili mladi awe more sensitive to these drugs what's the difference between cephalosporin and penicillin and the macrolide and they also when you compare with amino glycoside when we compare macrolide and the amino glycoside 
similarity all these drugs are, are antibiotic. I used to fight the against the infection. Dialectal bacteria. But the macrolide, these are bacteriostatic antibiotics. But the amino glycoside, these are bacteriocidal antibiotics. A strongly indication of amino glycoside. They may are the amino glycoside include streptomycin, neomycin, canamycin, amicacin, gentamicin, and metoglamycin. All oh, these are amino glycosides. We can clear if even if any we show in in a sure mycin, 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 sendeo, a C I N C I N C I N you know the name it means that it's many 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 amino glycoside. So that means that you have to even come out. Yeah, it's the amino glycoside. Those not the amino glycoside. Those those are not the amino glycoside. So this is a group of uh, drugs uh, that include streptomycin, neomycin, canamycin, amicacin, amicacin, gentamicin, and erythromycin. Oh, this is we should be uh, know um, which drug belongs to amino glycoside groups. So streptomycin, neomycin, canamycin, amicacin, gentamicin, and erythromycin. All amino glycoside uh, uh, drugs are bactericidal. I was told you. Any bactericidal. Cidal means in a word we really. In our who are our now work a bit of bacteria and they are active against some gram positive and many gram negative organism. So, how a larger number of bacteria more than one and how and how I'm an aggressor in gram negative organism. Amicacin and gentamicin and etablomycin are also active against anacedomas and urinasa. As this is a gram negative organism, uh, uh. As uh, this uh, gram negative opportunistic pathogen that causes severe acute and chronic infection at a different site within the body, such as the urinary tract, skin, burn or such goals, and other respiratory tracts. Vanuake, Hakina Maxim, Mikasin, Gintamasin, and Etromasin, when you want to manisana, Sedomas, Reginosa, and Batuna Semohun, gram negative opportunistic pathogens. As a pathogen, I think you need to be a pathogen. I disease control and prevention. What is a pathogen? Stepromycin is active against the macrobacterium tuber processing. And as in now, almost entirely disabled for tuber processing. And mind you, stepromycin. Stepromycin is an atomic asana, a quadrilia, 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 Kwa huyu, kwa sababu tunasema huyu ni kwa active against it. Ili kuweza kufanya treatment ya TB, lazima tuwe na dawa mbozo na sasa kawa pia. Ni mdudugea ni ambu huyu kwa nasabisha TB, tunasema ni mako bakili ya mtuba prosisi. So, mako bakili ya mtuba prosisi, anakuwa mwa sesti mkatana na huyu stepromizing. That's why natumika even treatment ya, ya, ya TB. Tangaleo kumbele kutumitia TB, anti-TB drugs, tunamukuta stepromycin also. Contraindication of amino glycosides. The amino glycosides are complicated in methanesias, grapes, or this area of chronic autonomy, disease marked by the muscular weakness, without the arteries. Namozo mwuzea, methanesias, grapes, or this muscular weakness, kuna kwa mwa complicated. In a patient with renal failure, yes, masoma zima ya kidney, misha zima zia sana, masoma zima ya kidney, and liver. Kama masoma zima ya kidney, haiko sawa, I think it's not complicated. Hearing impairment also, kwa sa moja hapo, as a defect ya maina gula kusati, inasabisha masoma zima ya autotoxicity, kwa masoma zima ya hearing impairment. Mtu natatizo ya kusikia, hafu na mtu wa maina gula kusati, kuna mbezea saidi kutokusikia kwa mtu. Pregnancy also. Wanasema moja kwa ya anti anti antibiotic ambayo uh, inakuwa ni relatively safe for pregnancy. Wanasema ni ni amino glycoside. Kwa sababu ni zikapetrate katika base na katika uh, katika mm, 
mtu anene katika placenta mwisho siku inakasabisha shida kwa mtoto inaweza kaharibu even zile organ ambazo zina asili ya kazi ya koma even bosho kusema zima ya hair limpia miti dose dose ji ende kwa zoo for man of the society remind you a man of the are not to be um administrative orderly hatuwezi kumeza ama ina greco size. Nyingi za dawa hizi katika masuala mazima ya parental. Lazima inakuwa adi abi administer ni kutumia masuala mazima sindano ya masikula, esa ya masikula OIV also. Kwa nini inakuwa vile? Kwa sababu unasema ukimeza uh, kama inatengenezwa vidonge inakuwa so stable. Ukimeza. Unasema ga hii inakuwa ni inakuwa na hai aya na kwa na 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 high polarity kama sema zima kata yani kwa concept tu kwa sababu tunasoma basic pharmacology kwamba hii inakuwa it not stable when given orally kama line nyingi sasa hii inasabi, ina inasababishwa kwamba la ah, kama haiko stable aje uh, tukimpa mtu ameze uh, kuna mtu mtume sindano kwa sababu mtume sindano inakuwa ni stable unasema ga hii ni high water soluble sana kwa kama ni high water soluble itimeze kingia ndani ya, ya tumbo mwisho siku tu haitakuwa stable that's why tunampa tunampa mtu tumesindama yeta machine no machine and a maxine as uh, uh, a concern about dose of 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 this drug mwele sa defect and adverse effect of amino glycosides all amino glycosides are all toxic tunagale sa defect and adverse effect i think at uh, this time you know what is the defect and adverse effect the difference between the side effect and the side effect amino acids are autotoxic autotoxic means e are toxic and then they phototoxic or a nephron in a part of the mechanism they are toxic this is more likely to be encountered in with the latin continuum for more than 5 days at the high doses in the edda and in the setting of the insufficiency yes kwa unataka inatokea ina sana. Kwa hiyo ndio kana kuna kuna kuwa na five up to eh, doses inakuwa more than five days kuna kwa tofauti sana zina ya ya autopsisti na ni photopsisti. Neomycin kana mycin and amikacin ah uh, zosi most autopsisti ya dit. So ndio nakuuliza. Ah uh, the following a uh, group of anti 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 uh, anti bacteria groups which are more a most autopsisti. Kuna watu wengi most of our toxicity it means kama it means ya toxicity it means kuna kuwa na neomycin kana mycin and amikacin hizi zinakuwa ni autotoxic agent tunazungumzia amino glycosides tumesema amino glycosides are bacteriocidal among us of the side effect of amino glycosides are autotoxic and then nephrotoxic ndani ya amino glycoside kuna kuwa na agent wengi sana wengine wanakuwepo wana, wanakuwa wanasababisha toxicity wengine ni toxicity yupo na sababisha toxicity ni nini mycin kana mycin hii ni amikacin isteplomycin and gentamycin are the most vestibular toxic what is the vestibular toxic uh, this is the result of the damage of the vestibular mechanism of the inner ear leading to the disequilibrium inner ear disturbing ambapo kuna kuwa na vestibular vestibular tunajua kabisa within a uh, moja hapo ya, ya kazi ya ya, ya ni kufanya balance so inapo be affected hii uh, vestibular uh, na, na, na na hizi sumu za amino glycoside inasababisha disequilibrium nani anafanya kazi ya vestibular toxic katika amino glycoside so nikisema tu vile lazima ndugu yangu ataniambia ni step of mice na gentamice je mtu ana matatizo ya sikio hasikii vizuri je ni nenda ni kampa stepromise ni ni kampa gentamice jipo ni hapana tutamongezea zaidi kutokusikia tumesema inasababisha vestibular toxic what is a vestibular toxic as a toxic resulting of damage of vestibular mechanism of inner ear leading to disequilibrium how about in your Tubramasin and gentamicin as the most nephrotoxic. Nitajie agent wa amino glycoside wana, ambao wanakuwa wana, wana, wana ni, ni wako katika wanasababisha nephrotoxicity, wanasababisha vestibular toxicity and also autotoxic. Ni wapi? 
or toxic to the same. I make a sin, can a mice and only my sin. How about the harvest blow toxic? Ah, this has to be my sin, get a mice and blow. Never toxic, ah, this is a new mice and they to bring my sin and begin to my sin also. An idea of the consumazima, ya ya never toxic. Ni sema msingi sana kuelewa hii na tujue kwamba huu ni nani? Huu ni ama ina mpendo kusaidia. Interaction and precaution of monoxide, interaction and precaution of monoxide. Asa kwamba concurrent use the whistle loop modulators. Example of the mind as a chronic acid in a coin interact. As an aflatoxic antimicrobial agent like vancomycin or amphotericin a potential in infotoxicity when we when we use amine glycoside lazima tukuke sana kutumia low polyuretics wakina full semines full semines wana mwita sana last 6 so rakson ya tuka mwita last 6 siyo so rakson ya leo atakuwa na hitu atukwa nzea leo ni last 6 kwa sabu ya full semines as a bubble drug should be avoided if possible when using amine glycoside Students, tuna tuna tunafanya shule kusana abuti base kifu na kolodi. Tuna kusana kusana abuti video video kusana kusana abuti base kifu na kolodi. Basi kifu na kolodi. Kifu na kolodi ni somo pana sana. Na pata tuna busa sana kido kuto kido kido busa. Iyo tete kaya penda kufanya hiki na chokisema anaweza kani akani chile kwenye imi yoso. What is the effect when using amino glycoid with local diuretics? Kwa toki ya nini? Maana hapa wanaeleza tu kwamba sababu drug should be avoided if, if possible when using amino glycoid. Lakini zijaambiwa ni kitu gani kitokea ukitumia amino glycoid na local diuretics. It's not easy assignment. Ili kuweza kufanya ubongo wako vizuri zaidi lazima uweze kupekua kwamba ah amino glycoid na local diuretics ambayo ni flusemide ambayo ni lasix ambayo ni raxon. Tukitumia na amino glycoid kitu kinatokea moja hapo amino glycoside lesa gentamicin amecasin oh streptomycin tatokea nini je nikitumia vancomycin au amphotericin b hizi nikitumia na amino glycoside tatokea nini kuweza kumasa pharmacology uh, lazima tuwe tunasumbuka kidogo ili kuchemsha akili hapo uh, yote ile atakaye 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 nifuata kwa vile email mtamjibu tu kwa mko sahihi au huko sahihi ini kwa ajili ya kwa update na kuwa broke more katika kichwa chako. It is not an assignment by the way. Mtu yote yule anataka kuwa more kwa kuwa kufanya leki zake za matulizi wa sawa na kuweza kupanua ubongo wake vizuri, unaweza kufanya hiyo tena utatafuta. Kwenye email zinatumia hata kwa jibu tu. Tunaangalia main point here. Um, commonly a uh, main point of uh, commonly a uh, use the amino acid a uh, streptomycin and amycin kana mycin. Amika sin gentamicin and streptomycin. And it's a commonly used amino acid. Amino acid active against gram negative enteric bacteria. Amino acid also are communicating a miscellaneous gravis renal and hair problem. Miscellaneous gravis in the same way as a muscular weakness. Amino acid is mainly given by injection. Many by injection. Why many by injection? Because many by injection because others are not stable or when they are given orally kasema hii amboa tu watasobu evaluation of amino glycosides what are the indication of amino glycoside drugs that must have said well this is for on the fight against the gram negative and the gram positive and also what are the indication of amino glycosides communication in the name I'd be saying that I'm concerned about the amino glycosides with low modulated and fertilization and they also have a common thing Tukia nini? Tukia mba. Waze are the common side effect of amino glycoside drugs? Ya, tukazumusha concern about our toxicity, waste for toxicity, and also nephrotoxicity. So, all this are evaluation of amino glycoside. Kabla ya kumaliza hapa, azima tukia amino glycoside nini? Tumesema zese abacrocidal, 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 antibacterial drugs. 
aise for fight and this gram positive and gram negative mi fano ya ke o short ke semana o maisin and maisin se ko maisin ke na maisin e me kasi ni and so on as a contraindication is a ke ni zipi na precaution is a ke ni zipi so all ni all students na school sana pa sapoti a kwa company e na bade wa and was school sana le tuma ya semiti e no bi a kwa kwa na bangalia na wengi na bonu wa bia le sikie vibaya ni kwa kata kuweka tu kwa mambo yanaenda sawa tunasoma basic pharmacology kwa hiki basic ambayo tunacho kidogo basi lazima tukifanikiwe vizuri atakayependa kwa ile ambayo nilisema kwamba kwa nini lupo of diuretics atuweze kumpa na minograms kutokea nini anaweza kafanya pia akatumia kwenye email lakini nitamwambia pia yes kwa sawa kwa ajili ya kwa update mafali yetu na kwa nani sana chao chao jo